Hello friends, in this video we will learn the working of a NOT gate implemented by using two diodes and a simple transistor and we will implement it on breadboard. Here is the circuit diagram of a NOT gate by using two diodes and a transistor. We have applied a 9 volt battery here. So the current will flow through this part and through this part. If we apply one at the input here, then we can see this diode will be in reverse bias because this side is negative and we have applied po positive voltage here. So this diode will not allow to flow current through this part. So there will be no current. So this part will not be there in this case. Then the current will flow through this diode because this diode is in forward bias because we have applied positive voltage to the positive side of the diode so this diode will act as a closed switch so this will act as a conducting wire so the current will flow through this and that's why the transistor gets voltage across its brace terminal then it will allow to flow this current through this path that means from collector to emitter so the entire current that is coming from the path from this path will flow from collector to emitter and it will not flow through this led so it will be in off state that's why we will get zero at the output now for the second set of input that is if a is zero that means if we will apply zero at in at the input terminal then we can see the current will flow through this part and this part also but in this case this diode will be in forward bias because this side is positive and this side is negative and this positive side is connected to the positive terminal of the battery that means this side has higher potential and this side has lower potential so this will act as a forward bias so the the current coming through this 100k resistor this one 100k this current coming through this 100k resistor will flow through this diode and in this case the entire current will flow through this part and so no current will flow through this part and in this case the transistor will not get voltage across its base terminal so it will not allow to flow current from its collector to emitter so this will act as an open switch so in this case the current coming through this path that is through this 1k resistor will flow through this output led so this will be on in this case that's why we will get one at the output so let us now implement it on breadboard to implement this circuit we need to diodes we have used 1 and 4007 diodes 100k resistor 1 1k resistor 1 npn transistor i have used bc547 transistor you can use any npn transistor and one led and some connecting wires also you need a 9 volt battery of course we need a breadboard also when we observe the diodes closely then we can see there is a silver coated side and the other side is black black so this silver coated side is negative that means this terminal is negative terminal and the black coated side is positive terminal that means this terminal is positive terminal at first we will insert this diode the left side is negative terminal so we will connect it like that so that it will be easy to understand so this side is negative okay now from this positive terminal of the diode the positive terminal of the second diode is connected so we will connect this diode this one positive terminal black one so we will connect it here to the same column because these are internally connected so it is connected now then another terminal will be inserted to any terminal any point of the breadboard then from that terminal that means 
this negative terminal of the diode is connected to the base of the transistor so here is the bc547 transistor the leftmost pin is collector the middle one is base and the rightmost is this one is emitter so we will connect the negative terminal of this diode to this base terminal so we will insert it like this so that okay from here we'll connect it this is this is okay we'll connect it there now since it is in the same column so it is connected now from the emitter terminal we can see the emitter terminal is connected to ground so we will connect the a wire from any point of this column to this row we will use this row as ground row we will connect the negative terminal of our battery to this row then from the from this point we can see a hundred ohm a hundred k resistor is connected and the other terminal of the 100k resistor is connected to the positive terminal of the battery so this point so this is the point from this point we have to connect this 100k resistor and another terminal of the resistor we will connect it to this row so that we will use this row as vcc row this entire row we will connect the positive terminal of our battery to this row then from again from positive terminal of the battery 1k resistor is connected and the other terminal of the resistor is connected to the collector terminal of the transistor so from here this from here we will connect it and another terminal we will connect it to the collector terminal okay this would not be passed to each other okay now from the collector terminal the led is connected so we will connect a wire from the collector terminal from any point of this column and we will connect it to any point of the breadboard and from that point we have to connect the positive terminal of our 5mm led you can use also 3mm led or 10mm led the longer one is positive terminal we have to connect it to this point and other terminal to ground row now we will connect the positive and negative terminal of our battery positive terminal to our vcc row that we have considered we can connect it to any point then this negative terminal of the battery to our ground row that we have considered now we have to connect to small wires in between these two row three four five here because this row and this row is not internally connected that's why we have to use that wire to connect it and also to the positive side of the battery let us shift this resistor and then we will use this now our circuit is ready now we will observe the output from this truth table when input terminal is at one one means we have to connect this input terminal since this is the input terminal we have to connect it to our vc0 vc means one at that case the output should be zero that's why the led is now off now when a is zero zero means we have to connect this terminal this terminal a to our vcc in this case the output should be one so that's why the led is now on so thank you for watching this video if you like this video then please don't forget to subscribe to our channel you can also buy electronics components projects sensors modules boards from our official website www.dpvtechnology.com thank you